Okay, so just before the weekend or over the weekend, you know your boy Wack 100, he over there on the Get Indicted Hotline, a.k.a. Clubhouse. Now, remember I've been telling y'all, man, that this dude, right, he's an agent provocateur, right? He starts to he starts conversations and he creates these um, this controversy in these conversations and he calls people out that normally don't even speak to the media or even try to be visible in the media, and he forces them to come out and speak, and speak their side of the story, or tell their involvement, or try to refute what he's saying their involvement is, or who they're affiliated to. Listen to me, man. I don't know what WAC 100 is doing right now, but I know he's playing a very, very dangerous game with the street politics, man. You know, so if y'all not familiar with what's going on, you know, Black 100 was on the Get Indicted Hotline, you know what I'm saying? This and La Brim, you know what I'm saying, who is a, um, he's somebody big out of New York. You see what I'm saying? Somebody that a lot of dudes rock with, you know, he built his name up out there. So, you know, of course, when I see Wack dissing him, I'm like, yo, what is this about? And then I started thinking, you know, these indictments in New York City, man, where they keep popping up from, how they keep popping up. You know, who listening in on all these conversations? Yo, whack, you ain't right, boy. 